What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you have been following along, then you probably know that this is my shop. I am not working here today. Tomorrow, I think we will be back here to do some cleanup of the machines and stuff and get a bunch of them washed because we are pretty sure winter is behind us. It is March 21st. It is about 55 degrees out today and on the radar doesn't show any more snow. So hopefully it stays that way, but it is time to switch over to construction mode. So from October 1st through the end of the winter, me and Rodrigo come into our shop and we are in full snow removal mode. We don't do any construction really, except for a few random days here and there, but the rest of our crew does construction year round. So me and Rodrigo are starting to get back out in the field. We have a couple active jobs going around going on today and I'm going to take you around and basically just introduce you to the jobs and show you what we have going on. Our first job I believe I recorded a little bit of in one of the most recent videos but I'm gonna go back there and go over what we have done and what we are doing. I believe the spackler will be there so hopefully we don't get in his way but we should be good. The second job I'm going to is a kitchen renovation job that we are doing. We have one guy there finishing up a couple things. And then the last job I will bring you guys to is a basement renovation job. That is at a house that we did a really big addition on. This is one of the higher end jobs that we do. And the basement got pretty much left behind. And when they wanted to do it, they called us and now we're back there to finish it up. So we are currently on four, five, six, one, five or six different jobs that are actively going on right now. One of them being my brother's, one of them being the kitchen job in Poughkeepsie, the other three. And then there is a couple more that we have lined up and we have a really busy summer ahead of us. So a lot of construction gonna be happening, but either way, let me hop in my truck. I'm gonna head to that first job and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm there. All right guys, so I just got to the first job. This is a living room slash kind of like a sunroom. And there will be a deck built out here, which is why you have all these sliding doors. So you can get a ton of sunlight and you can get out onto the deck. But the spackler was here. He had to run to deal with something else. So he's gonna come back later and finish up. But that's why you see half of it spackled and half of it not. This is a little dummy wall we made that goes into the rest of the house. That way we can keep the dust out and whatnot. But this leads to the upstairs and also down into the basement. We're not really doing anything down there. But up here is the master. Sorry about the noise in the background. They have a landscaper here pretty much every day, trimming the bushes and stuff and just keeping the property looking nice. But this is the master bedroom. This would be a little closet that they have. This is actually an extra closet right now that eventually will be demoed and turned into an elevator. We have the whole shoot made outside already, but it is just for the future. So right now there's no elevator. They're gonna use that as like a closet. And when they wanna put an elevator in, they will. But the whole room is plywood, has a ton of windows in here, except for this wall gets sheetrock and obviously the bathroom will have tile. So this is your bathroom. That's your toilet over here. You have a little walk-in shower. Your sink will go here. And then this will be like a walk-in closet for them. But it is a very nice design all open like this. And they are using smooth sanded plywood on their walls that will go on top of this regular plywood. And it'll give it a nice look in here. And then they have this accent wall. So. This room is pretty nice. As you can tell, there's a sloped ceiling in here. So we blew the roof off of this and laid in new rafters, 
new roof. It has a metal roof on it. I recorded some of that with my drone, so I will throw a clip of that in here. But this is a pretty nice room. Once we are done, it'll probably look much better. But this is where we're at right now. We did the whole outside. We, well, not the whole outside, I shouldn't say. We resided a lot of the outside. Everything up here, obviously, because this is all new. And we tied in, I'll show you guys outside, but we tied into the old siding where we could and everything else got new siding. So I'm gonna head outside and I will show you that. All right guys, so I just pulled out of that job. That job is a very unique one. They have a lot of custom stuff that they want done and whatnot, which is no big deal for us. We do it all. So it just is different than your average house. But that pretty much wraps up that job. You guys will be seeing us working there in the future. I am heading to the next job, which is a kitchen renovation. So I believe one of our guys are there still and I will catch up with you guys when I am there. All right guys, so I just pulled up to the other job. As you can tell, our guys are here. This is one of our vans, but this is an existing customer. We did this back deck for her, I don't know, maybe close to 10 years ago, probably seven or eight years ago. So she called us back to do her kitchen here and I will walk through it here for you and just show you. This is a small job for us, so no big deal, but here we go. Maybe three inches is not good when you... No? Why? What do you need? This is three and a half. So you can have five pieces, that's good. Yeah, you might have enough. If you need more, let me know. Yeah. So we're raising this up right now and putting an extension in there. So this goes all the way to the ceiling. We need one more cabinet for right here to fill this gap. This will go all the way down. Fridge will go here. But everything here is new. New floor tied into the old floor. All new cabinets and everything. So. Two rocks, spackle, all done. Well, that is pretty much it for this job. I'm going to head to the last one and I will show you guys that. All right guys, so I just pulled up to the other job. This is our other van. A couple of our guys are here working. So this is the house that we're doing. We go through here and go down into the basement door. But this neighborhood is a very high end neighborhood. So this is one of the nicer jobs that we have done. I'm gonna grab my other camera here 
and show you a little bit here. I'm gonna try and find some before and during pictures of this addition we did because this house is much bigger than it used to be. We added that whole back deck, a balcony on the front, a whole bunch of stuff we added, but if I have some, I will probably throw that in right now while I'm talking. Now I'm gonna head down in here and show you guys what we got going on in here. This is a little secret door to get into here where you have your water softener and stuff. All your water system and everything. So they will have a little door here in the side of their closet. It's like a little secret room. This will be a like a living room area type of deal. Hanging some sheetrock. Grab the zipper. And then in here you have like your boiler room and stuff. And they added a gym underneath. This is all an addition here. So this is where their house used to end. And everything above us, all the way out to this exterior wall is an addition so they're making good use of the space here but we're not really doing anything in here we are finishing off this boiler room but most of the work we're doing is out here getting this all cleaned up so this used to go through here there used to be a door here that we closed off. This goes into a bedroom. But they wanted it all closed off and you can still get around. If you go through this door, this is the little bathroom. And then this is where they're storing stuff, but that bedroom is there. So there was a door. Right there, we got to sheetrock that off and finish that. Oh. oh, let me, I think this light was on already. Let me turn it off though. Yeah, so that is pretty much what we got going on right now. We have a couple other jobs that we are doing that we're not actively on right now. But when we go there, I will obviously be making videos of them. But these are the three that are right now top priority for us where we're spending most of our time. But you will be seeing a lot more videos at all three of these jobs probably. So hopefully we can get them buttoned up and move on to other jobs soon and keep things rolling. But for now, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. We will be switching over into full construction mode and there will only be a couple more snow removal videos after this. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments about what we're doing, construction related, snow removal related, really anything, leave them down below. I'll get back to you. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.